Hi everybody, my name is Sam. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I haven't really posted much on here, and I'd really like to revive it. Unfortunately, some of my older videos have a lot of views, but it's only because they've been targeted by pedophiles. So, I decided to take matters into my own hands, since I can now, thanks to the pedos, monetize this channel. Thanks, guys. Um, and thanks to all of the people that actually watched my videos, because they like my art and all that stuff. Um, so today, what I really wanted to talk about is how hooping has helped me deal with mental illness. I talk about this a lot. I'm a huge advocate for um, mental illness in general, just for people who ha struggle with it. And a couple of years ago, on my channel, there's a video called How I Beat a Panic Attack with a hula hoop. And that was a really momentous video for me because it's actually still probably the only time I have ever caught myself conquering a panic attack on camera. And I really do believe that hooping is a great meditation tool, terrible meditator. <laughs> So spinning in a circle for a long time is a, a good way to actually calm my mind. So that video is actually really what started me on my like mental health advocacy journey. I'm also a writer. I write on Medium. So if you're ever interested in reading any of my stuff, I write a lot about psychedelics and self-improvement, um, as well as just personal essays and stuff like that. So if you ever want to learn a little bit more about Sam, writing is my my life's passion. I discovered hula hooping seven years ago, and since then I've really been on kind of a healing journey and been trying to learn how to deal with um, my anxiety because it was right around the time that I discovered hooping that I realized that I had anxiety. Not sure if those two are connected at all, but it's really helped me a lot. Um, oftentimes in the morning I'll wake up and of course, I drink coffee, and then coffee um, depresses my appetite, so then I get anxious. So then, I tell myself, Sam, first of all, you're anxious and you need to eat, but you also need to eat so that you can go out and cool it. And for some reason, that helps me a lot more than just you need to eat because you're a human who needs to stay alive. Like, I can convince myself to be a person in the morning as long as I get to go hula hoop, which is kind of hilarious to me. So I usually spend about a half an hour every morning um, hooping and just kind of flowing it out. And I find that I usually feel a million times better afterwards. For me, hooping has been such a transformative thing, and I really would love to spread my my happiness and my good vibes with everybody else because not only do I suffer from anxiety, I also um, have CPTSD, so trauma basically that started from my childhood that to this day affects me. And I find a lot of peace in movement, and so for me, hooping is like, it's a balm to my soul. It's like injecting my veins with like straight fire. Of course I would say that I'm an Aries. I would want my veins to be injected with fire. <laughs> it, but it's just like this magical thing and it's helped me gain so much confidence in myself. It takes a lot of guts for me to go outside and hula hoop a lot of the time because there's always creepy dudes and I usually am able to get through it because I know that there's creepy dudes, yes. There's also little girls in the neighborhood that love it. There are parents that come up to me and they're like, my kid loves you, they're like, that's so beautiful. It's really helped me to meet other people and it's a good way because there's always a buffer. Because even when I'm talking to them, I'm still playing with my hula hoop so they can't get too close to me. <laughs> so. Hooping has just been really transformative for me. I don't even know that I could express in words what it has done for me. But the biggest thing I think is not just that it, it helps with my anxiety or that 
It allows me to meet people. It's that hooping is beautiful. And it makes me feel beautiful when I do it. It makes me feel more like myself. And it's a, a form of art where you can express yourself in so many different styles, in so many different ways. You can make it entirely your own. And I'm all about endless self-expression. I'm an artist. But I don't think you need to be an artist to want to express yourself. <laughs> That's just human nature. So even if you don't have anxiety, no matter who you are, what stage you are in your life, if you want to start something, if something pulls you, like hooping pulled me, you have to listen up. Don't run away from it. I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Um, I'm actually going to try to produce uh, a lot more original content. Um, there's going to probably be like one or two hooping videos a week. I'd really like to start doing more tutorials. And then I also am planning on starting a um, hoop meditation series. So basically the most meditative like hoop sesh of your life. That's what I want this to be. It's not about tricks. It's not about performing. It's not about looking cool. It's just going to be about feeling good. So hopefully I can get started on some of those things. I do have to write and work and do my job and all that. But I'm really excited to actually like have a YouTube channel and get started with it and like actually produce good content. So I hope people will watch it and be interested. Um, I also wanted to say, if you're here from uh, CPTSD Creatives, thank you so much. You guys like made my day. That was so incredible to have my video watched by so many people. Your support means the world, and thanks for convincing me to make this video. So, you guys are awesome, and I'm sending all of my hoop love to you. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day.